Spirit, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands On Learning. And today I wanna to share with you some fun alphabet activities that uh, I've been doing with my preschooler and you might enjoy doing them with your preschooler as well. And before we get into it, I wanted to show you some new resources that I picked up recently. And the first one, I just love, love, love. Okay, it's this little alphabet B from uh, Learning Resources, as you can see here. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I just <laughs> fell in love with this little guy. So he opens up and inside, oh, he was already unlocked. Okay, he opens up and inside there are alphabet letters and, uh, oh, this one's backwards. So they have the capital alphabet letters and then on the back they have the lowercase. So they have capital and lowercase. And if you guys have been watching my videos for any length of time, you know that I'm a little bit <laughs> obsessed with alphabet manipulatives. I love using like puzzles and the letters from puzzles. I love using um, blocks with alphabet letters on them. Any kind of manipulatives I can get my hands on that have alphabet letters, I absolutely love them. And I probably have way too many. So I did, did I need this set? No, but it was too cute. And I was actually on Amazon looking for Christmas presents and lo and behold, I ended up in the school learning, you know, toys section and I found this. But anyways, I love it and I'm gonna show you how I used it uh, with the activities that I have here to show you today. It also has numbers on here if you see that, um, which is pretty cool. And then on the back it has like the dots for how many the numbers. So if this is seven, it has seven dots on the back, which I thought was pretty cool. And it has uh, four little shapes here, circle, square, star and triangle and so we will definitely get use out of the numbers when we do math activities as well so this was just it's just super cute and i thought that the not, the letters in here were nice and big for my preschooler uh, who is three now if you are new here and this is your first video of mine you've ever watched welcome i am a former elementary school teacher i taught kindergarten first uh, grade for the most most of my um, experience. And uh, I also have seven children. I'm a homeschool mom now to all seven of my kiddos. And so this video is gonna show you some of the alphabet activities that uh, we are doing this week. We've done one of them so far and we're going to do the other one too. Now, another thing that I got um, this week as well online because of course I was looking through the resources and I got these pet counters and you guys know I use manipulatives for everything and I thought that these counters were nice and big perfect for using for our activities with my preschooler and so I got these as well they have pets they have uh like trains and um well not train like transportation and other different sets um so I got the pet set because we've been actually working on um speech with him and naming different animals and he loves to do that so I got the pet set but uh, I may end up getting other ones in, in you know in the future but that's what I got for now so we're gonna use those and I also may end up showing you um, how we use the this little pocket chart here too okay so the first activity is called alphabet jungle letter hunt now, both of these activities I'm gonna show you today are included in my Ultimate Preschool Bundle. So if you already own that bundle, these activities are free to you and you can just go download them right now. All right, um, uh, by the way, I will leave links below to these in the description box. Now, there are two sets of cards. There are the capital letter cards and there are the lowercase letter cards. And um, you can do this activity in a couple different ways. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, so then there are two mats. There's the lowercase letter mat that looks like that. And there's the uppercase letter mat that looks like this. Now, the first thing we did, cause we did this activity already once, is um, with him, I am just practicing matching capital letter to capital letter right now as we learn to recognize our letters. So both of the activities you see here today are going to be working on alphabet letter recognition, not so much the sound of the letter, but recognizing the name of the letter. So if your student is a little bit more advanced and they're working on sounds, I have lots of other videos, like my uh, videos on my preschool curriculum uh, that work a lot on sounds. But this video here today is going to basically be working on letter recognition, because that's pretty much where we're at right now. So this is great for uh, 
those preschool children, you know, two, three year olds. Okay, so this is our, these are our capital letters and what they do is they just take one card and you know, um, I like to flip them upside down like this and then have the kids flip one over because they just think it's super fun to flip one over. Now each of the cards does have a picture there that represents the letter, you know, so H is for horse, and you know a is for apple and so on so there is that component if you did want to work a little bit on sounds but for him i'm just working on recognition like i said all right so they flip over a card now what you could do is you could have them which is what i did i had him put the card in a pocket chart so it was right there visible for him and then what we did is he had to look on his mat and find the matching letter so he would have to say g g okay look on your mat where's Big G, where's capital G, big G, and he would look at the mat, and here I see capital G. And then there's two ways you could do it. You could have them use a manipulative and cover up the letter once they find it. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Then they would, of course, flip over another card, and I have H now, and then they would use a manipulative and cover up the letter H. Can't see that, but H is down here. And so they would just continue on doing like so. So here's A and they'd have to find A and match it up and say the letter. And they do that until they, you know, filled up their mat. Another way you could do this is when they flip over a card. So I'm gonna flip over a card. I have cap capital O and I have to find capital O. He's right there. Then you can have them use an alphabet manipulative and cover it up. So here's my capital O and we did this we did, we did it both ways and he really enjoyed both ways. And then they would put the O on there and then he's gonna flip over a card. Okay, can you find P? P, he'd take his letter P and he'd cover it up. So they can use, you know, their, their magnet letters are great for this or the, these letters that I'm showing you here, any kind of letter manipulatives you have are great for this activity. Okay, so then to go a step further, if you wanted to make this into um, an activity that matches capital to lowercase, which is um, like one step up on the hierarchy of knowledge, then what you could do for those kids is you could grab the lowercase letter cards and have them, you know, well, flip over and they, they flip over a card. And now I'm using the lowercase letter cards with the uppercase letter mat. And they're gonna, you know, Flip one over, so here's lowercase b, then they have to find uppercase b on the mat. So that way they have to be able to recognize the capital when they're looking at the lowercase and cover either cover it up or use their, their letter manipulatives. So that is another way to do it. So if I flipped over another one, here's a lowercase h, and then I would cap cover up way down here, you can't see it, uh, capital H, you get the idea. So they could just keep on going and covering up. So here's lowercase n, and I'm gonna cover up capital N right there. Okay, so another thing you can do is since I provided a lowercase letter mat, if you're just working like I am on matching like capital capital, now I could work on just matching lowercase to lowercase. So I can use my lowercase letter cards with my lowercase letter mat. And of course he would flip over a card you know, there's G again. And then he could go ahead and cover up the lowercase G, which is, I'm visually scanning here right there. <laughs> okay, um, by the way, this is a skill that works on not only matching, but visually scanning. And those are both great cognitive uh, prerequisite skills that students need uh, as they're developing. So um, anyways, so that's what they can do on this one. So I could just match lowercase to lowercase. There's my lowercase F and let me get one of these. I'm going to cover up my lowercase F down here. Can you see that? So um, yeah, so that's one way. Or again, I could go ahead and use my uppercase cards and match them up with my lowercase mat if I'm working on capital to lowercase matching. So let's say I grab a capital M and then they would have to find the lowercase M on their mat and cover it up. It's right there. All right, you get the idea. So this skill or this activity can um, 
be differentiated to match the skill level of your student. Okay, let's get into the second activity. All right, this other activity is called Alphabet Find and Cover. So it's a lot like the other activity, except for it's just cards like this. And they take a card and it has A on it here, as you can see, capital A and lowercase a, and then they have to find all the capital and lowercase a's on the map. They can cover them up with their manipulatives like this. Or if you have letter tile tiles like I do, you can, can cover them up with letter tiles as well. So these are our letter tiles, and I really like these because it gives you a lot of each letter, especially the vowels. You get like, oh my goodness, a ton of them. I haven't even counted them, but you get probably like 10 of them. Um, and so I really like that because for activities like this, then we have enough. And so let me take these off. So another way you can do this instead of using your manipulatives is they can use their letter tiles. So capital to capital and lowercase to lowercase. And we're just covering up the A's. So just like that. Um, so these letter tiles, goodness, I, I can't remember where I got them, but just go, I would just go on Amazon and search letter tiles and they may come up. They, they came in a little, um, was it a bag or a tub or something like that? But I put them in here because I like to have them, I don't wanna have to go digging through a tub to find the right letter. I like to have them all. Um, where they're supposed to be so we can quickly get the letter that we need letters that we need so anyways these are great for this activity another one that we really like to do is to use play-doh and we'll put play-doh balls on each one to cover them up and the kids like to just smash them and that that's super fun too um, so this one for example if we were to use our letter tiles they would have to cover up their lowercase b's and their capital b's and so this is just a great one for letter recognition again Super fun, and uh, you can print these off in black and white as well. I made them in black and white. So if you want them um, to, like, if, the, if you're a classroom teacher and you want them to take it home and color it instead of covering them up um, and using it as an activity center, you could um, have them just color in the ones. And so that's another way you could do it. You can print these off um, if you, on, in your printer settings, you can make your printer settings to print these off smaller. So you have smaller little squares and then you could have like a whole page of them and have them, um, not a whole page, but you could have like three or four letters on a page and then have them color them at home. Well, however you wanted to do it. But uh, I always make mine into activity centers because I'm big on the hands-on learning. But, uh, you know, there are multiple ways you could do it. So again, they would just use their letter tiles and cover up or they could use their um, manipulatives. Okay, so that's it. Those are the two alphabet activities we're doing this week. Thank you so much for watching guys. I appreciate it and we will see you next time. Bye.